y'all asked for a mukbang, so we go ahead and do the mukbang today. This is one of our traditions on every Sunday. We just get some food from somewhere and eat good and all that good stuff before it just start up a new week. So basically like a tradition pretty much. But um right now I'm gonna put this up kind of small that I got. That's what I got right here. We got the same things and stuff, so pretty much the same. I just got more sauces, but if you don't like the sauce, so. don't ask me why I don't like the sauce because I I just don't. I I every restaurant that got their own little special sauce, I don't like it. I just don't. It is what it is, though. Don't judge me. But um, also, y'all seen that title section? This is like a kind of a Q and A video as well. But with a little stuff going on, man, it's about to get real spicy. I ain't going to lie to you. Y'all just gonna have to sit back, relax. If you wanna pause this video, so you go ahead, get something that make yourself comfortable. What you gotta do to get comfortable, et cetera, et cetera. Go ahead, do that. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead, get ready to get it started. So, I'm gonna let her go first just because she got the questions and stuff. All right. So the first question is, where do I want I'm really struggling with this now. I'm catch up with him though. That's tough. Tough people. Go ahead. Oh, you're still looking. No, I'm looking at you. Go ahead. Okay. What do I do that turns you on the most? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I can't get on that. 
Alright. You just use your imagination. <laughs> Have you ever had to stop or hurry up because it sucked with anybody? Like anyone, like long, like anyone. Not just me. Well, I know you haven't done that shit with me. I don't think so. Perhaps. Truth be told, everything I ever did something with, it was never that oh no this shit focus no cap can't ever make me um i just want to hear y'all be done or not do it at all type like shit that was just me though i ain't never been that person just go smashing every type of female and then running into a uh, one where yeah i don't want to do it or i'm just here you'll get her off the way type shit like I used to be mean. Really, I'm gonna tell the truth. I used to be mean. Everyone that's been sucky, literally, get off me. Get your pants and get out. Or move. I'm about to leave. I used to be mean. Literally, like. Right? Like, they, she didn't like them. I don't know why. 
But whatever. So it was them that was always sneaking in the house and hiding their ass and stuff. She just had that intuition. She would come home like, who in my house? What y'all been doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so back to that. The song ended real quick. Went out the back door. Now, this is where the shit got mad. 50 50 ish, like, damn, I'm gonna get snitched on and what? Because next door, the neighbor happened to be in the damn pool, and it's an older dude, and he's just looking at me. And then he turned around to the front, and he peeked basically what was going on. So I thought he was gonna, yo, they the back of your house. I was like, damn. But he looked at me again. Yeah, he just went back to do it when he was doing it. He was like, shit, I, like, I was in that. Yeah, I was gonna say, he probably like, man, I used to do some shit like that back in my days. Young blood, I ain't even gonna do it. <laughs> so, I'm thankful that his eyes didn't snitch on me. Hey, shout out to you, up. old dude, if you ever see this. Hell yeah. Either way, I would've got away, but it was just a simple Thomas. fact. Either way, I wasn't even mad. I already Thomas got away, but her ass got in trouble, trouble. No cow. Somebody said, you take the bread. A long time ago, I seen this. You take the bread, you make like this indent inside like that. And then you... But y'all get y'all special creative and making... You shove it in the side. And then you shove some fries in there too. No, for I seen this on a post. Like, comment down below if y'all ever seen this on Twitter or something. Everybody was like, oh, king pack, oh my gosh. Okay, hey, I'll never eat pain the same. Because I'm going to do this every time. But, go ahead. What's your question? Oh, yeah. I was almost finished. So, I ran through this little long-ass alley. Because her house happened to have a long-ass alley behind it. Ran through that. Ran back to the front. Got my car in love. That shit was crazy as hell. I texted her. I was like, damn. Go get this. She peeped anything. She was like, nah. So, Everything is going to do it, and I ain't get caught, she ain't get caught. But, um, what's the scariest shit you ever did? Scariest? Oh, I do have an awkward situation story. <laughs> Should I tell a story, or like, it wasn't really a scary situation, it was more like awkward. I'm going to just go based off that. So one day, like, I was just so used to sneaking people into my grandma's house. So I was just sneaking people into my grandma's house. And I snuck a dude in my grandma's house one time. So out of nowhere, because she don't never, she never used to come upstairs. Out of nowhere, she come upstairs talking about who in my house. Because I, I heard her, she started banging on the door. So I told the nigga go in the closet. So she would come in the room and she like, so who up in here? Is anybody up in here? And she started looking under my bed looking in my cabin and then next thing you know i'm like there's nobody in here she's like all right she opened up my closet and long behold the dude was standing right there in front of her and it scared her and then she was like get the fuck out my house come on girl i still you know she said get the fuck out my house but it went crazy Ooh. Ooh. She was mad for a little bit, but she wasn't like too mad. She just was like, you know, she wanted to talk to me after that. It was just awkward at the fact that she went in my room and it was a dude in my closet. At that, he was kind of grown. I was 17 at the time and the dude was 20. So, oh my goodness. That was awkward. That was kind of scary too, because I didn't know what they were going to do. But at the end of the day, she just pulled me outside. And we were talking, and she basically just said, like, she doesn't care about the fact that I have people over. I just got to tell her. And then she was mad at the fact that it was a grown. She said, grown man. I mean, he had a beard and stuff, because he looked older. But... Yeah, no okay. Thoughts that go through your mind during the time you get it on. I really don't have 
talks. We just focus on what's going on at the time. Plus, when it comes to that time to... <laughs> I love, I hurry up and move, or, uh, get off. <laughs> you get annoying. Oh, uh, get off. Fucking annoying. Cause, it seems like all the females, you know, the ones I ever dealt with, and did stuff with, they be into, be into it, like, like, they don't comprehend what the fuck we doing, saying what we know to do, like, it's like, nah, I think that's how they would crack me. Or we pray. Huh? So, no. Nah, I just shove it. I just push it. That's it. Just push it. Then she try to put all her weight on me. That thing don't work though. Just because I got that nigga strength. <laughs> Next question. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. What's the. Most, what made you super mad at me? Like, what has ever made you super mad at me before? you never even seen me super mad. Really, you never made me super mad. No. Well, what's made you the maddest that I ever did? Because you could go on today to tell y'all how much I make her mad. I don't make her mad just by playing the game. <laughs> but I'm a god, what you expect is better than me being out here running the streets cheating all day. I can't really think of the mad as you made me. Because I've never been mad, mad. It's just been like little shit. Like, get off the game. Get the fuck off of me. Oh, this might sound like, like dumb. But we have two TVs. It's one on this side and his game TV. When he watching something on TV and I fall asleep first, this nigga falls asleep on my side of the bed. Every time I don't wake up on my side of the bed, I wake up mad because why the fuck didn't you go on your side of the but bed? But what she ain't telling y'all is she'll be on my damn side. Okay, because you're taking up my side. Eventually, no, I'll be I up end here. up moving over. I'll be in the front of the bed really in, in the middle of the bed, but she still goes all the way on my side, just that my side is like closer to the wall. And low key, I do like when I'm closer to the wall when I'm laying down because, I don't know, it's weird. I like being on the edge, closer to the door. Now she gotta get up earlier than me. And I always gotta pee, and I'm not trying to get up and roll over somebody every single time, I gotta get up. And I, I'm always like getting up. Yeah. Alright, let me check my questions. Better watch it. Biggest relationship here. say losing trust. Uh, there's literally hella factors that can make a person lose trust in somebody. Like it can be harmless from the person that you lose trust in or it could be true. It's just like I said so many factors you never know so it's kind of hard. It ain't hard, but it kind of is just because it's something like happening that's innocent as fuck. And the person that you're losing trust in had no idea of what the circumstance of the situation is. Kind of makes it hard. Like, that's the scary thing. Like, you never know if that shit is really, like, harmful or not to the relationship. Just because you don't know what the whole situation Because once you see something... You just don't go based off exactly what you see right then and there. So, it depends. There's a lot of factors in it, like I said. My biggest relationship here? 
it's a lot that goes on in a relationship. But to overall lose your partner, like them getting killed type, like dying, that's a fear. Because like, death comes unexpected. Like you would, you're not gonna ever know when it's somebody's time. So it's just crazy like to even think that. So that's one of my biggest relationship fears. Secondly, it is that trust issue part. But like mainly it's that really losing your overall like partner. Because one day he's there and then you wake up the next day, he gone. It'd be like this person you had all these plans with is gone. Like that's just gonna fuck you up. For real. At all. I probably have to say mentally learn to heal. Because never know what the next day or who time it might be up and you'll never be able to fix shit after they done already been gone. Um, it's like you ain't gotta forgive what they did, but still it's good that you forgive them just because you never know. Or at least tell them like you love them or some shit because gonna wish that you like when that that whole thing happens you gonna text them I love you and they not you not gonna get no message back
Sheriff. 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 Sheri